Hi, I'm Sam Ben Yaakov. Now, as was um, presented in earlier electronic bits, as it was shown, any operation amplifier based system can be presented by this simple block diagram. What we have here is an input section um, G, and then we have the open loop gain, and then beta which is the ratio between the return signal uh, to the output. Now for this uh, system, the closed loop response, that is the ratio between the signal at the output over the signal at the input, the input and the output, uh, this ratio can be expressed by this equation. Now, what will, what will make this system unstable? The system will be unstable if we find that the denominator roots, which are on the half, the right half side of the complex plane. That is, if you have poles which are on this side of the complex plane. This, now, how do we test for it? Well, we can use the Nyquist criterion. And shown here in the border plot, uh, domain. What we do is we look at the loop gain, that is the product of A open loop times beta, which is this curve here, and in particular look at the crossover with the 0 d dB line. And then we look up the phase. If the phase at the crossover point is less than 180 degree, this is this line here, then the, state, the system will be stable. There are some exceptions uh, for this rule that, that I'm not going into due to the shortage of time. Now, this implies that if, say, the phase behaves like this and we cross the 180 degree line, then the system will be unstable. So, this difference between the actual phase, this is the actual phase, and the 180 degree, this difference is defined as the phase margin of the system. It has an important um, contribution to the dynamics of the system and in fact of the stability, uh, as we'll see shortly. Now, this implies that if we have a system which has, for the loop gain or for the <coughs> product, a open loop times beta, which we call the loop gain. If it has some poles and then zeros, etc., and if we approach the zero dB line at a rate of minus 20 dB per decade, then for, say, conventional or normal system, which we'll define as minimum phase systems, one can immediately, immediately say that the system will be stable. That is, let me restate it again, if the so-called rate of closure, and the, the way we approach the zero degree is minus 20 dB per decade, the system will be stable. Why is that? Well, the reason is that if we already reached a slope of minus 20 dB per decade, this implies that all the zeros and the poles actually um, uh, neutralize each other, and we are left with one dominant behavior, a behavior of a dominant pole, and one pole has a 90 degree phase shift. Now, let's have a look, however, at how we can simplify the analysis using the concept that we have just discussed. Now, the graphical approach that I'm showing here, we start off with a open loop. That is, we don't have to plot beta A open loop, but we start with just one part of it. Beta could be subjected to design trial and error that we are doing, and consequently the product beta A open loop might change during the design uh, phase. So in order to avoid the need for plotting the loop gain again and again, we start off with 
a open loop, and then we plot 1 over beta, rather than beta itself. Now, looking at the logarithmic relationship, this is in dB, so this is the logarithmic scale, we find out that the difference between 20 log a open loop, which is this distance, from 20 log 1 over beta is nothing more than 20 log beta a. So this difference here is in fact the loop gain. Now, this is also the loop gain here. But in this case, beta a, excuse me, a open loop is smaller than 1 over beta. So when you take this difference, you'll end up with a negative number, which means that beta a is smaller than 1. Consequently, what we have found that using this simple graphical approach, plotting 1 over beta over a open loop, we find the region when beta a is larger than 1 and <coughs> the region where beta a is smaller than 1 and when beta a, or excuse me, when a open loop is equal to 1 over beta, this is in fact the point where beta a open loop is equal to 1. So now all we, that we need is to concentrate on this region and to see what is the phase here. We know that if the rate of closure is 90 degrees or corresponding to the minus 20 dB per decade, we are on the safe side, even if we are going to have some breakpoints in the neighborhood. So, in a very general way, we can find out for a given open loop gain, what are the 1 over beta or what are the feedback possibility to obtain a stable system. Here we have a straight line for this is 1 over beta. We cross over here at the rate of minus 20, this is minus and minus, minus 20 degrees per decade. So the rate of closure here is um, minus 20 dB per decade and the phase will be about 90 degree and this will be fine. So this is a stable system. Now, this case for this one over beta is also okay because the rate of closure here is again minus 20 dB per decade. Now, if you don't see that, consider the possibility of uh, replotting beta A, which is this distance here, in the conventional way, and you'll definitely see that the rate of closure of beta A will be this minus 20 dB per decade. Now what about this possibility? Well, the rate of closure here is minus 40 dB per decade. This corresponds to a phase shift of uh, 180 degree, so the phase margin is zero, and this is a bad situation. So what about crossing at the breakpoint? Well, in this case, we accumulate the 90 degree from this point and then the 45 degrees from th this breakpoint that we are just added at this particular frequency. So we have a total of 90 plus 45, which is 135 degree, and of course the phase margin will be um, 45 degrees. So it's okay. Turn on everything for this one over beta, which is also okay because in this case, uh, still we have, this is minus 40, this is minus 20, so the rate of closure here is minus 20 dB per decade, which again corresponds to a 90 degree phase shift, which is okay. So this ends this presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.